Hi, so today I'm going to share with you a look at my altered Pagan All tote bags. So I tend to alter a lot of my different items. I try to share that on here or utilize different things in a new way. So let's get started. I'm Tammy Inman and this is A Peach Life. And I'm going to share with you what I did. A lot of these things are quite simple, but there's um, some tote bags and they come in, I believe it's just two different sizes. And so they're really cute, but they're just uh, like the flat, like where you drop in a magazine or something like that, like a, a regular little um, easy breezy little thin tote bag. And so on mine, I added the little gussets. And so I was asked about this over on my Instagram and I just took my bag inside out. It's really simple. I'll show you. I can always take this stitching out if I want. That's why I didn't cut these parts off. When the bag is folded in uh, back, right side in, these just lay down at the bottom and I don't even notice them, but you can just trim them off. But in case I ever want to take that stitching back out, I left those. And so now I just have like a little gusset bottom. And when I fill my bag with little goodies like journals and notebooks and art supplies and what have you, I'll try and give you a little look how that, that looks in there. Can you see those just like really flush? Okay, so this one is ticking early 1900s ticking which is this and the color is slate and it's called sorry it's called a reader a little reader tote bag so when I fill it up with all of my things I really enjoy about it is that it will stand up on the little tabletop or wherever I happen to have that when we go traveling the hotel I can set that right up on the bed or um, on the little dresser next to me. That's just really nice. So when it's full, this kind of feels like this. It squares it up quite a bit. There we go. It squares that up. You can see how nice that looks and it becomes more of a nice square shape. It's just so adorable. Great both ways, but for me, just adding those little that stitch on both sides to make it like a gusset really helped. I did the exact same thing with a little bit larger bag. Do I have a tag on this one? And I'll show you that footprint is just a little bit bigger and it runs a little bit taller than this bag. So depending what I'm utilizing, I like this one when and let me give you just sort of a reference. This is a standard, standard traveler's notebook. And so if I put this in, it kind of comes right about there to the top. It really is such a wonderful little size. It stands a little taller than the mini tote bag. So that's my little altered Pagan All Small tote bag. This is the larger one. I'll put that same one in here and then you'll notice there is a little more space. But in that I added another one of the little bags. What are those little bags called? Let me see. I can't remember off the top of my head now. <clears throat> They are um, sorry, these are called, they're not the satchel, they are the oh, hunter satchel. <laughs> okay. And so I love the little pockets in front. Same here, the little pocket in front. This is the blue color. I think it's my very favorite of all of the colors. They're not, it doesn't seem like they have much of that color. Okay, so in here, 
when I had bought a small uh, satchel, hunter satchel, I didn't realize I got black. I thought I had got the blue. And I just felt like the black catches a lot of lint. So I sewed it in. I did a stitch right across the top and I sewed it in here. So now I have a little back pocket and another little pocket in here so I can keep different little items and not worry about them falling out. And I don't know if you can see that. Probably not. It's just good, a little stitch right across the back. So it gives me a little more room and space. I can utilize that pocket. And the, these are a bit pricey. So you may find a different use for a small satchel than utilizing it this way. But I really enjoy to have those extra pockets and that extra little secured spot inside of the tote that doesn't have anything like that. And then lastly, I have the large hunter satchel and the small. And I ended up adding those together. The small, I felt like the strap is just not as long as this one. It was a little snug on me. And uh, maybe if you're sm smaller, a little more petite than that, the small might fit you better. But for me, it just was not long enough. And it fit me like a little snug or higher, I think is what it was. Not necessarily snug, but just a little higher. If if it was a little different, it, and I would have left it. So I wanted to find a way to utilize it. So I thought this was great. And when we go on our New York trips and we walk around or um, get the bikes and we have a fun day, I found that, okay, adding this, I can keep my wallet and things that I need to grab really quick at a glance, grab those out. And then back here, I found I can keep my journal, a magazine, there's a back pocket even, things I buy on the go. I can throw my watercolors and stuff in here. And then I stitched across so that it's on there snug. But then I also just did a few little strong stitches in the end so there's this gap here. And I loved that I would be able to roll up my sweater or sweatshirt and just sort of tuck it in there. And that was so wonderful because when this gets full and you're out shopping and things, it it um, it worked out perfectly. And then this had the little strap on it to close it and I removed that so I just utilized the strap from the larger hunter satchel. And it's really nice. And then it already did have um, a bit of a bottom that that uh, had a gusset and I just added sewed in so it went longer it went a couple inches longer and I just sewed in a little more of a deeper gusset on there so it could go wider if needed as opposed to longer and then the longer then I don't have things quite as deep it also can fit my umbrella which is really nice. I can tuck that in there. And it's just wonderful. So they are all wonderful just as they come. The craftsmanship and everything about them is just so lovely. They're so strong and uh, just thrilled and fortunate just to have them as they were. But just adding this little bit uh, of changes to it and I'm not a great sewer I can get by so that's good and I can also take those stitches out if I need to and I kept my different leather straps and such and I also have been lucky in the past of other items we have a local shoe repair and he can stitch up things real quick and easy for me as well when I'm altering things my my sewing machine doesn't want to take on and then in a past video, I also shared, I'll show this real quick, that in my mini Sendic, I removed my stitching here. And that's because I like to keep when I'm out and about and I want to take 
a bunch of art supplies or if I just want to go out to my garden and create or to the couch and watch a movie, I can then slip in my larger palette. I can slip in a little notebook here. It just gives me a lot of little options to carry things. I can also keep a little mini um, Demi art toolkit watercolor palette in here. It also fits the pocket over here. So it gives me a lot of options. I already have plenty of space here. I wanted a little larger space when needed. So I removed that stitching and it may not be for everyone, but I have found I love it. There's also additional pockets back here and maybe in an upcoming video, I'll show you my other pagan all items like the different pouches and the um, the tote bag and such. I have shared my tote bag in other videos, but more of my pouches and things and how I utilize them. Um, let's see. Lastly, the last altered item I have from pagan all is the new marigold. I added in some fabric here to make two pockets. So it's similar to their writer's pouch, but this pouch is a little smaller. So that just works out so cute and perfect. I can also use it to take my watercolors and things. So I love that. Let me tell you, this one is called a keeper pouch. So it is a little bit smaller and I have the writer pouch, so I'll share that Nope, that's not the writer's pouch. Oh, my writer's pouch is in my tote packed up. Okay, my travel tote. And we just got some nice sunshine in my craft room windows. So perfect time to start wrapping up. But I love all of my items and altering them just a little pinch to even better suit uh, my style of either creating or traveling my items along it just makes them even even better and more enjoyable so I try not to be afraid of it and not hesitate and just go with it knowing I can always remove that stitching and knowing if I do mess up I can take that to my shoe repair uh, men and he is able to fix any and everything. So, well, thank you guys for joining me and I appreciate uh, you being here and your questions regarding my pig and all items that are looking slightly different than yours from like Instagram stories and things like that when I post. So I just wanted to share that closer look with you guys. And if you like this video, I would love if you can give me a like to help share with more people. And if you've altered or something, one of your items, and you have a link to that, please share that link uh, in the comments. I'd love to see, and I'm sure others would as well. I also have my A Peach Life group on Facebook that you can join and share um, photos with us and, and other things on there as well. So thank you so much for joining me.